Good morning. Thank you all for showing up this morning. Uh, it's a big political announcement for the Aiken County Republican Party. Uh, for the first time in many, many years, we are having someone convert from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. This is an elected official. Uh, they have served the county gracefully for many, many years. Uh, there are many people that I recognize in the room this morning. Let me start over here. Representative Bill Taylor, who you all probably know. Congressman Joe Wilson, who you definitely know. Sonny O'Donovan, who has uh, been very active in the Republican Party for many years. And of course, Matt Moore, who's the state chairman of the Republican Party. And you all might be wondering, okay, you introduced them, but who is he? I'm uh, KT Ruffin, I'm the Republican Party chairman for Aiken County. And uh, just wanted to recognize a few people in the room. We have Mayor Sally over there, um, Charles Barton, who's the county auditor, Jason Goins, county treasurer, Judith Warner, uh, Ronnie Young, Gary Bunkers, a former county councilman, um, Kathy Rawls sitting up front, who's a county councilwoman. Did I miss anyone else? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You got a couple more mayors. Yeah, yeah, got a couple more mayors. Uh, Mike Stake, who's uh, the secretary of the Republican Party, and a lot of other people in here. I don't want to miss anyone, but at the same time, I know you all didn't come to hear me speak. Uh, this person has been so instrumental. She had a long career in education. She then retired from there when she was serving county council and started teaching the members on the new members on council how to act. So, without further ado. Uh, Adieu, Kathy Rawls. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am very, very happy to be here today. Um, and you may know that uh, it's been two weeks since <laughs> Katie's been trying to get this schedule <laughs> right during the middle of the ice storm the first time. Um, I became involved in politics in the 70s and um, I was considered myself a Southern or Conservative Democrat then, but you know that name's disappeared now. Yeah. Um, I was a poll worker for about a decade before I ran for office in 1988. I recently listened to a speech made in the Reagan Library by Senator Marco Rubio about the many great things that President Reagan brought to our country during his presidency. I was reminded that I supported Ronald Reagan in 1976, when he wasn't quite as popular as he is now. Uh, Reagan didn't get the support of South Carolina that year, and he lost the nomination in 76. I still believe he should have become president in 1976. It was not uncommon during that time for Southern Democrats to support Republican presidential candidates or campaign for them. Uh, I have never voted a straight party ticket. I probably never will. Uh, I have voted in the Republican primary several times. I voted for Ron Paul in 2008 primary because I thought our country needed a leader that would bring us back in line. Um, I have supported many other Republicans over the years. For you to understand why I'm here today, I want to share my beliefs with you. I am a conservative, a fiscal conservative. I strongly support the constitutional values of our founding fathers. Religious freedom was never envisioned to prohibit prayer in schools or in any public place. I support strong law and order and strict enforcement of the law. I continue to be concerned about the degradation of our Constitution, including our Second Amendment rights. I believe that we need to solve our problems whenever possible and not rely on government to solve our problems. I have always believed that less government is best. Illegal immigration is an issue that has caused me much grief with the Democratic Party. Uh, Reagan brought a great solution to the immigration problem, but enforcement never happened. The Simpson-Mazzoli Act should have been enforced beginning in 1986. The United States has an immigration policy that all immigrants should abide by. Illegal immigration is in fact illegal. 
and our government shouldn't pick and choose when it comes to enforcing the law. Amen. 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 Our, country, Amen. our country doesn't need another immigration reform right. when they've never enforced the present one. There you go. From my stance on this issue, I was taken to the carpet by local Democrats, which is another reason why I'm standing before you today. There tends to be a need to use labels as a kind of shorthand in the world of politics. If I have to be labeled, let my label be that I do what is right and best for people. I stand up for what I believe in, sometimes forcefully. I get very angry when I see government hurting people or treating them wrongly. Maybe I'm naive, but I still believe that elected officials have a responsibility to spend citizens' money wisely and to do what is best for them. I'm the same person that I've always been. I will continue to represent all my people in my district and county. I don't feel I have left the Democratic Party. I feel that they left me when they became more and more liberal, no longer reflected my values and beliefs. Mm -hmm. Through this gradual process of political realignment and reorientation, I now am more comfortable with the principles of the Republican Party. I have some very good Democratic friends, and I hope they will remain my friends despite the party label. And they will if they're my friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have been blessed with some outstanding Republican friends, and I'm so glad to have several of them here today. Uh, our county auditor, Charles Barton, retired magistrate, judge for law, Chairman Ronnie Young, Gary Bunker, uh, Treasurer Judith Warner, uh, Excuse me. No, he's the treasurer. <laughs> treasurer Jason Goins, uh, RMC uh, Judy Warner, uh, Mark Humphreyville, my special friend, uh, Linda Sharp. I'm so pleased to have you here today, and I know I'm missing somebody else. Oh, yes. Uh, Mike Miller, Tommy Williams, and Bob Sally, our three mayors from this area. Thank you so much for coming to support me. The communities around here are really lucky to have these three men. They are dedicated. They spend more than 12 hours a day on this job. And uh, we are so lucky to have them in the community and they, are, they always cooperate with anything I need. Uh, I appreciate it greatly. I'm very flattered to have several state and federal representatives here today, Bill and Joe. Thank you so much for coming. And KT, this, this guy has worked and worked. Uh, uh, I think he was about ready to uh, just say, well, I don't think we ever gonna get it scheduled here. Um, right in the middle of this ice storm and it was so bad. And I said, oh, well, we'll just reschedule, he said. And then, he, and then we had to reschedule again. And uh, so this guy has really, um, been through it for this, but um, that's why he's our leader. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> right, and a very good one. Uh, thank you so much for welcoming me into the Republican Party. I look forward to working with you and to continuing my public service and representation of the citizens of County Council District 1. Thank you. My name is Matt Moore. I'm the State Republican Party chair. I thought it important to be here this morning. Oh, thank you. We had put a particular focus on, on converting local offices to Republican across the state. Uh, I do want to thank KT, like you did, uh, for, for leading the charge here in Aiken County. It, it really matters. Uh, it matters most of all, you mentioned the public service, uh, serving the people of your county. And we believe as Republicans that the government that's most local governs best in terms of uh, all those small decisions that add up to our daily lives. And uh, so we, we, on behalf of all the Republicans uh, statewide, uh, we thank you. 